Hey everyone, if you remember a while back from watching my videos, then you'll know that I did a swap with um, Nikki, which is Calico Girl 2L, and she got me a couple of items, so I'm gonna just do like a review on all of them all together, and also show you guys what I got in case you didn't watch that video, or in case you're a new subscriber. So, the first thing she got me were three nail polishes. The first one is the Milani in Wild Violet, in you can't get Milani anywhere near me, maybe like an hour away where they might sell it. I don't know, but not anywhere close by, and I don't want to drive that much, that far just for Milani stuff. Um, she got me the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Nail Wear in Pacific Blue. And she got me um, China Glee's Little Drummer Boy, which I believe is from the Christmas collection by the sounds of it. And it's like a dark blue color, and it's got the silver top instead of the black top. Okay, so this one um, I tried on my nails, and I love it. It, I had it on for at least, um, at least, at least a week, I probably had it on longer, and it didn't chip, and it didn't stain my nails, so I love this stuff, and, um, I do two coats on my nails anyway, so you could probably get through with one, but, um, I do two anyway, so that's what I did. Um, Pacific Blue and, um, Little Drummer Boy, kind of wore these together, you know, I wore this one on my ring finger. I guess they were on my toes, so I'd be in my ring toe. Anyways, um, this one, people have said that they've had troubles with it staining their nails. I didn't use a base coat or anything like that. Used two coats, and my toes are perfectly fine. They're not stained at all, and this did not chip. And I still have it on my toes today. And I have, and I put this on like when I got it. So it's been on for a long time, and it's long wearing, and it doesn't chip. This one, I don't really know because I've only had it on one toe. But so far, so good. Um, hasn't chipped. It doesn't stain. And it's like a nice navy blue color. Like, I love this color. It is awesome. Can't wait for the winter when I can wear it more. So then I got three lip products. I got a Milani um, lip gloss in Summer Baby. And it's this like darkish purple, pinkish color. And... It is awesome. I love the color and I love Milani products from what I've tried so far. She got me this Royal Gloss in Delicious. It's, it's a delicious lip gloss and it's in Cookie and it's like this darker nudish color. But it tastes exactly like a cookie and it's not sticky and neither is the Milani one. So that's what I like in a lip gloss is um, one that isn't runny. This one, I'll show you the applicator for it. It's just like a normal applicator, and oh, a lot came out. Try to get it back in there. But yeah, so it's that kind of plastic applicator, and the Milani one is just a doe foot applicator, like that. If you guys want better swatches, let me know down below, and I'll put them in my blog. And then she gave me this EOS lip balm, and it is in Lemon, lemon Drop. And in Canada, we can only get three kinds. We can only get the Summer Fruit. I think it's the... Honeydew melon and a mint one. So we couldn't get these ones, so she gave it to me. And it smells like a lemon tart. If you guys don't know what a lemon tart is, oh, it's so good. It's like a lemon pastry with like I don't know, it's it's just good all around. So um that's one thing she got me. And I love my other EOS lip balm, so I knew I'm gonna I was gonna love this as soon as I saw it in my package. Um, she got me a body mist and a body lotion. The body lotion is in my purse because I love it so much and I'm almost gone. But thank goodness I have one back there in all my stuff. And then, she, so this, the scent that she got me was in the Signature Vanilla and this is in the Coconut one. Um, this one has hardly been used because I have another one back there. And which is almost gone and this is like my backup so I can't wait. I love it, love it, love it. So now that it's getting to be winter, I think that I'm going to retire that scent for now, which will be good because then I'll have it when it comes spring again. And then I've never tried this one, and I don't know why because I am a fan of coconut, and it is the Hawaii coconut one. And um, so she gave it to me, and it's not like a strong coconutty scent like what the coconut vanilla one is. That one smells more like uh, lotion. This just smells like... This one just smells like coconut, and there's a little hint of, like, citrusy in it. I don't know, but it, either way, it still smells really good, and I don't know why I didn't try this out earlier. And then she got me, um, we can't get these 
well, we can't get these anywhere where I live. Like, we have Wet n Wild, but we can't get these. And this is the Wet n Wild Eye Sparkle Eyeshadow. This one is in Star Clusters. So, it opens up like a book like this, and it's got like the flower and every color is different. And then there's a mirror somewhere. How the heck did it pop it out? Oh, like that. And then there's a the mirror, and there I am. Hi. So, yeah. Um, I love it. It's pigmented. I've loved any item from Wet n Wild. So if you ever, if we ever do a swap and you send Wet n Wild, you know you've got my heart right away. Because I love Wet n Wild products. Especially stuff that I can't get near me. Which there is quite a bit that I can't get. So. And then the second thing she sent me from Wet n Wild is, um, the 8 Color Icon Palette. I told her I couldn't get these. And then I told her, um, if she could pick me up one. And this is the one I wanted. And then I found it, like, the day after in another city, which was, like, two hours away because I went to the beach and it was at the drugstore there. So I'm glad I told her to get me this one and not the other ones because I bought the other ones and not this one. So this is... Oh, don't mind that one. This is what the colors are. Um, this one broke, which is okay because it was, like, the darkest... It was, like, a dark browny, greeny color and it... Either way, it wouldn't have looked good on me, so I'm not really sad that that one broke. But it kind of broke all over these ones. So then um, my mom helped me wipe it out, and so now it looks pretty good now. It looks like it's been used, which it hasn't been used a whole lot, only because of that incident. But like I said, it's okay, because a little goes a long way with Wet n Wild, because it's so pigmented and it's long-wearing. But yeah, so those are all the colors that come in there. And this one is in Comfort Zone, if I haven't said that already. And the last thing she got me was this Aussie 3 Miracle Deep Conditioner. And if you guys haven't tried this, tr go out and buy it. It is amazing. Um, I can get it here, but I didn't think about, you know, um, going out to try it. Never thought to try a deep conditioner because I always use conditioner. And that this item makes my hair feel so silky, f so smooth. Um, it's really shiny, and it smells like coconut. So obviously I'm going to like this product. She also sent me a couple of little hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works, but I have a lot of hand sanitizers on the go right now, so I haven't tried those, and I think one was in Lime Mojito, and the other one was in Caribbean Escape, and I know I'm going to like Caribbean Escape because I have, like, other scents, other things from that scent, and I haven't tried anything from the Lime Mojito, so if you guys want any swatches or anything, just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.